Hi and welcome to Loan Management System developed in Microsoft Access. Actually, this tutorial is at the request of one of my viewers out there. Let me show you this person's comment here. That is the comment. Would like me to create a loan management system, and this is my reply to this particular viewer. Great suggestion. Fingers crossed. And the reply back to me was, I am waiting. Thank you for your hard work. Well, your waiting is over, my man. Right there. That is the system. And now let me show you how it works. Okay, I'm, I can either click on add new record or you can just click on new record right here. Okay, so whichever you want, the choice is yours. So I'm going to enter the loan reference. That's the loan reference. How much do we want to borrow? Let's say we want to go for about 900,000 or more. There. And there, years of payments. I'm going to say that's going to be about 20 years. Okay, and interest. Let's say the interest rate is 4.5. And that is it. That's going to be our monthly payments. 3900 and at the end of the the final payment you would have end up paying 936000 plus okay let's enter the name of this guy who wants the loan let's say the name is Samson okay Samson Townsend uh, right here we have the oh let's enter the name of A mobile number there we go all they need to do is to click on add and right here you go, you will see what will happen okay and we can just click on if I there click on this all will be added in there let's let's click on save record yes there we go done and let's assume we want to change let's navigate back or we can use this and let's assume we want to change the years of payment here let's say we want to make it about nine years there okay there we go it's nine years now and if i mistakenly or just intentionally want to move out of that system look at it it's telling me you have to save the changes if i say no it go back to eight. Let's assume I say it's gonna be ten years. And I intend to get out of the system. It's gonna ask me to save. Yes, save. That is it. It is now saved. Let's look at the name. Nadia. Let's go for Nadia. And make sure the changes is taking place. That is Nadia right there. You see the changes has taken place. And the other thing is we can also go straight to the table. All the changes would have taken place on the table itself. Okay, Nadia, right here somewhere. That is it. There. You can arrange it the way you want, but I sort of like put the the loan first just before the name. And that's it. So now let's go into access and put one of these together, guys. And just for your information, this is just an overview. The full tutorial will be made public very soon. Bye for now.